Hello everybody, Rich Lang here with Prep U down in the bunker. Yeah, and surrounded by uh, some of my favorite things actually, uh, first aid equipment. Um, the last couple of days over the weekend I should say, I spent uh, almost a day going through all the different first aid kits that we have, uh, be it in the car, be it my backpack, in the house and stuff like that, because uh, it was on the list. Um, quarterly I go through everything, check dates, um, check to make sure that uh, nothing's ruined, ripped, wet, uh, anything like that. Just checking the conditions of it. And, um, a lot of people will just go out and buy a commercially uh, available first aid kit thrown in their car and never, never think about it anymore. So I was thinking about that and I thought, why not make a video, quick video about first aid kits? Um, not a real big deal um, until you need it, you know. And I've always, people always say, well. Why do you have one in the car? You know, what if you know you're in the accident? Well, I hope that there's somebody out there that uh, I can say, hey, there's a first aid kit in the trunk, get it, and uh, help me out or whatever. So it's always nice to have it. Just like I take one to work, both my different places. Uh, when I go for a bike ride or wherever, there's always a first aid kit. Um, but this is just kind of a few things that we have. Um, I put together kind of a list, which I'll show you at the end of the video. Of stuff that I have in some of our kits uh, Israeli bandage or bleeding control tourniquet quick clot gauze and adhesive tape four by fours antiseptic hand sanitizer band-aids of various sizes latex gloves ice packs heat packs emergency blanket CPR mask scissors tweezers pain medication Advil Tylenol Aleve Motrin, regular aspirin, um, extra prescription medications. That's basically in my get home bag or my bug out bag. And that's everybody in the family. Flashlight and extra batteries. Accidents don't always happen during the day. Safety pins are good. Calamine lotion, alcohol wipes, splints. The SAM, which is kind of the rolled up heavy thing. There's also uh, thin wood. Um, there's also finger splints that you should have. Tooth preservation kit. How many people thought about that? Mole skin, antihistamine for allergic reactions, insect bites, and sting treatment, light sticks, and paracord. If you don't know what paracord is, that's what this is. Um, it's great to have. Uh, this is just a really small one. I always suggest about 150 feet of it. It doesn't take up much room at all, actually. Um, but that's, you know, the list that we've got. A lot of people have asked me... When does a first aid kit become a medical kit? Well, that's totally up to you when it becomes a medical kit. But some of the things that uh, you can think about is if you start getting into trauma dressings, uh, bleed control, uh, entry and exit wound um, bandages, um, even tourniquets and you know Israeli bandages and stuff like that. And not many people are going to carry blood pressure cuffs and stethoscope. Um, but it, it's always nice to have. Um, some of the things here on the table is pretty easy to see. Always first aid guide because it's nice to have, especially if you aren't doing the first aid and someone else has never done it before. Um, emergency blankets uh, are really nice, especially in the in the bad weather. Uh, I always suggest like a multi tool, a knife, liquid skin. We've got some saline. Moleskin's nice to have. Calamine lotion, great for bug bites and stuff like that. Uh, Steri strips. We've got, like I said, safety pins, Neosporin. Uh, you've got some alcohol wipes. You've got some burn gel. Uh, just an old story. Back when I was a kid, I had a cousin that worked for uh, Illinois Bell, and they worked around a lot of electrical stuff. And they used to have this black goo that was just absolutely unbelievable on burns. Um, you can't find it anymore. It's probably carcinogen for all I know. Um, some other things, you've got uh, bleeding control bandages, like I said, um, paracord, um, suture kit, medical kit stuff. You've got surgical blades here also, uh, your quick clot, um, masks, gloves, hemostats, tweezers. Tweezers are really should be everybody's kit everywhere. Um, we've also got some uh, insect wipes here. And hot hands um, and that's the stuff here but talking about some other kits that we were talking about and I told you I have, I have several kits uh, 
that I carry with me all the time. You've seen in other videos where I have the, the transfer pack. The transfer pack is just an easy little kit put together, and I always write on the outside what's on here. Uh, this is the trauma kit I carry. It's got gloves, tourniquet, um, two trauma dressings or Israeli bandages, four by fours, five by nine sterile pads, uh, some stretch bandages or um, gauze. Uh, there's a couple of them in here. And then a high fin vent entry and exit wound kit. Um, like I told you, I work at a gun range and no one's gonna bleed out when I'm there. Uh, I always carry this with me. I also work at a school. You know, we know some of the things that happen to schools these days. I carry this with me. Um, and again, it's like this, so it can be moved out between my pack for school or my pack for the range. Um, a lot of people are going, I'm sure what some of you are saying is, this, how do you pack all this stuff away? Well, really, if you pack it correctly, it's not that hard. Now, you're not going to have all this stuff. I have multiples here. Um, but in, my, in our one car, it's all packed in this little bag right here. Uh, something else that I didn't talk about is paper and pencil to write stuff down, times and all that good kind of stuff. Um, you're also going to want to have a list for the kit, what's in here. Uh, but let me show you, let me move a couple things around here. Oh, but first, we, let's go back to medical kits real quick. I uh, forgot about that. This is what my medical stuff is packed in. It's a little bit larger. Um, I really don't like the camo, um, kind of a dead giveaway. Uh, for those of you in the prepping community, you know that it's better with a basic bag. Uh, black, tan, or whatever. Um, this kind of kind of screams prepper or former military or current military or whatever. And guys, are, you know, if they find this, they're going to go for it and take it. But some of the other things besides what's here, I'm probably not going to be able to see my head anymore. Multi multi trauma dressings and C spine, uh, along with a lot of this other stuff packed in this bag. And it's a lot of multiples, a lot of four by fours, gauze, tape, and stuff like that. Okay, anyhow, back to this kit. And like I said, this is carried in one of our cars. Very easy to pack. It's, it's pretty amazing when you think about it. So, right off the bat, bandages. Finger splints, and you have some tongue depressors. Not to check, you know, and to, or put in your mouth, anybody's seizing, don't ever do that. Uh, but basically, it's also another splint. There's a thermometer, there's some safety pins in there. Neosporin, always check the date on that. Hand sanitizer. Emergency blanket. Sunscreen wipes. Got some uh, fingernail clippers, and you've got some chapstick. Always have plenty of chapstick. You've got tape. You've got alcohol wipes. Clotting sponge. Sam splint. CPR mask. Gauze. Israeli bandage. Tourniquet. Ace bandage. Two different kinds of pain medication, Tylenol and Aleve. You have two cold packs. Oh, and also these were in there. I took them out just for demonstration purposes. Your hot packs. Gloves, as always, always use gloves. More cling. Various other size bandages and eye patches. Four by fours. And you paramedics all know this, the scissors and the hemostats. Uh, all packed in this convenient little thing along with first aid information and a list on what's in here. Contents, paper, and a pen. So it really is pretty easy to put all this stuff, you know, into a kit. Um, and that's the stuff I put together. You can also go commercial. You want to go commercial? There are, and I know they're back here somewhere. Oh, here they are. Volkswagen has a real nice kit. It comes with uh, some of their cars. It's nice to have. 
you can also add to it. There's room, plenty of room to add stuff in here, but open this up. It's kept in the trunk in the hot and cold weather, so you want to make sure that you uh, keep track of uh, the condition of that. Commercial kits. Here's a good little commercial kit. It's an easy care, all-purpose first aid kit. Um, it's going to come with all different kinds of things um, like uh, antiseptic and pain medication. But it's really kind of cool when you think about it. It opens up and has everything all set nice and easy. Uh, it's also got a first aid guide in there. Also kind of explains what the stuff's for. Uh, now I've had to, over the years, change out like the aspirin and change out the uh, and a septic and some of the other things in here and upgraded uh, a few of the items like the Neosporin has to be checked constantly uh, to make sure that it's uh, up to date and I know some people are saying well you know there's a date on there but it lasts longer I don't know how long beyond that date that it would last um, but uh, so I mean you're talking commercial kits car kits specialized kits advanced kits um, a lot of this is your choice and uh, what you want to carry with you, but it's always good, bare minimum, bandages, uh, band-aids and stuff like that, some antiseptic, some wipes, uh, ace bandages, uh, skin knees, um, stuff like that. Those of you that are parents, you know what I'm talking about, the kind of stuff to keep around. Um, and also, it's always good to have a little bit of cash in with these kits because you can't have enough. Uh, if you get stuck somewhere um, but that's uh, my first aid and some of the things I suggest that uh, you guys have with you wherever you know wherever you're going so um, thank you very much for uh, watching this video as always uh, if you like what you see here please subscribe uh, we try to get videos uh, one or two every uh, week next week is the list video we're gonna get that out um, but uh, like always, um, always be aware of your surroundings. Uh, if something doesn't look right, it's probably not right. Um, and prep like your life depends on it because yours and your family's life do depend on it. So, but here comes the low tech part of this video. I'm actually gonna get up. I'm gonna grab my uh, camera and bring it over to this list and I'll hold it in front of the list for a while, which makes it a little bit easier if you're, if you're looking for a good list. Um, other places you can go, um, uh, government websites, state websites, hospital websites, uh, medical first aid websites, uh, prepper websites. Um, you can check with your local fire department or uh, ambulance service. They have them also, but uh, let me uh, grab the camera, come over here, and I'll hold it on the list for a little bit, and uh, we'll be good to go. Pardon the motion. And hopefully that comes through. If it doesn't come through, you can wait for the uh, list video to come out. Like I said, it should be coming out next week. Just got to get uh, that all put together. But uh, there it is in a nutshell. And um, as always, again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And if you, if you like this, uh, send us some uh, attaboys. Thank you. Take care.